So I wanted to come up with a easy to install and inexpensive ground mount for some panels. Specifically, I'm using some bifacial 395 watt panels by Trina, but this would work for pretty much any kind of panels. What I'm using is two six foot long T-posts. I'm driving those in and just starting to get some rough measurements. And specifically, I'm gonna be using those black brackets that actually hook on the little nubs on the back of the T-post. That gives you some adjustability and also keeps that board from going up or down. So I can make some adjustments here, driving a little bit further in the ground because I want my angle to be a little bit lower, around 30 degrees, which is a good year round angle for panels in my area. If you need a reference, you can see a link in the description over to Everyday Solar where you can type in your address and see what angle you should be using for your area and what's optimal for each season. Then I'll just mount these little brackets here that I got also off of Amazon so I can sink a few screws and secure things up once I have my final adjustments. So I just move things up and down. Again, do a check with my bubble level on my phone. Adjust one more time and then that gives me a good angle. So then I'll just take and go ahead and secure things in. I'm just bending those brackets slightly and then driving a screw in the black brackets and then one screw in each of the silver brackets. And here you can see a little bit closer view, just bending that over to line up. Again, this is kind of a semi-permanent mount. Could work for multiple months, but probably not ideal for years and years. So I think that simplified mount could work out for you. I'd probably put a little gravel on the front side just so you're not fighting grass growing up and shading your panel. But specifically, I also want to get the front side of that bifacial off the ground. So I'm going to do a second example where I mount two panels, still with a 30 degree angle, but I want to get that front side at least 36 inches off the ground to get a little bit more power from the bifacial feature than you would with this type of mount. So let's go ahead and jump into the second mount, and I'll also let you know what is the time and the cost to install something similar like this two panel ground mount I'm going to do. As you can probably guess, we're gonna need four T-posts for this one. The back ones are gonna be eight feet and the front ones will be six feet. I'm gonna check plumb in both directions before driving those home. Then I'll set my other side 10 feet across, so that's a spacing. And you'll see I have quite the gap between my two panels that I'll mount here. That is for some specific testing I'm doing. If I was just setting up my panels, I would mount them closer together with a more reasonable spacing as you might expect. Now I'll just drive a screw in each side and then space these front T-posts 40 inches in front because I'm gonna get the similar 30 degrees for my angle of the panel to match up with the one on the ground. Just checking the diagonals there to make sure everything is a rectangle and I'm not skewed in one direction or the other. So drive these two home and then get those brackets on, get your board in place and do the same securing on the screw on each side. If you wanna put more screws in, you can, uh, but I think one screw is enough. Checking with a straight edge here with an extra T-post, and I know I have a 30 degree angle, so I can drive home a screw on each of the corners of these brackets, holding the panel in place. Now grab the other one, again, space out a little bit. You do not have to space them like this. This is just for the testing I'm setting up for. So then to finish it off, if you have your T-post kind of extending out, one for a safety factor and two to eliminate shading on your panel from the T-post, I would cut those off with an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel. And then they make these little caps, and you'll see a link in the description, where that will help to make sure there's no sharp edges on your T-post from a safety standpoint, which I think is a good idea. Now it took me about 25 minutes to do this second mount and all in cost for that mount is $62. Now I wanna hear your guys' feedback. What else would you use? Maybe there's different products. The thing about this one is it's so easy to set T-posts so fast compared to lumber and setting those in concrete that it is a much, much quicker solution, especially if you're looking for a multi-month kind of solution opposed to a permanent mounting solution. And if you feel like you need a little bit more stability, there is a corner bracket made by Lockjaws link in the description, and that would get you a bracket running front to back. That would give you stability front to back. And then if you need it from side to side, we might have to do some type of wire tensioning system to kind of give you a little bit more diagonal support as well to secure everything up. But for me, this is gonna work perfect. 
for the testing we're doing, which is testing these bifacial panels. And that is why you see the white rock under one of those panels. Now I'm gonna test for a few more days, but if you wanna see that video, you can check it out right here once it's released. And if you wanna see how I did a DIY grid tied and roof mounted solution to completely offset my power bill, you'll see a link to Project Solar that helped me through that project. And also you see the video right here that will walk you through the complete process of how to do that on your own home. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.